Stimulus check update. The Democrats want a second stimulus check. The Republicans also want a second stimulus check, but they're not sure who to give it to. And the Congress is going on vacation. Can somebody cue the music, please? Hey everybody and welcome! This is The Commotion and I'm Roshan Joshi and today on Reality Rants we are going to talk about the second stimulus check uh, that will be coming out potentially and kind of what's going on in the House and the talks that are going on between both the Republican side and the Democrat side. I'm not going to go too far into uh, all the details yet because nothing has been cemented. Um, there are only talks and proposals right now. so. Before we get into that, make sure to hit that like button. Please, please, please don't forget to hit the like button. If you like our video, it helps us out a lot. It's the button that looks like this or this. Um, and then make sure to also hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more content like this, hit that notification bell so you're always up to date. Like any of the music on our channel, check out Be The Human. His info's in the description below. So a couple months ago, the House passed the CARES Act, which uh, we all received a, if you were eligible, a stimulus check of about $1,200. And also, if you were eligible, a boost for uh, the unemployment of $600. So you got an additional $600 every week uh, to help with unemployment if you lost your job. Um, and it doesn't look like things are getting a whole lot better right now. But before we even get too far into that, I just want to state one thing, which is the Senate has taken a two week recess from the 4th of July and they will be returning the 20th of July. So that means that they have the 20th of July until August 3rd to figure out what the next bill is. The CARES Act right now currently will expire July 31st, people will start losing that additional benefits July 31st, so they need to figure something out before them. So July 20th to August 3rd. Now, if they don't figure out something by August 3rd, it'll get extended into August 8th, and if they don't figure out anything by August 8th, they will be shelving it because they have a month-long recess and they don't return until September 8th. So, I, which I don't understand how you can have two weeks off and then directly after that you're gonna have a month off make it like hundred and seventy five thousand dollars a year and you work for the american people and right now the world or the economy is in turmoil and you have the justification to take a month off where do i get a job like this where i'm pretty sure the regular american public gets like two weeks paid vacation maybe where do i where do i sign up and you know i digress so trump uh, says that the next stimulus bill will be much more generous. So he hasn't said a number yet and they don't have numbers yet because uh, nothing has been passed. There have only been little bits of proposals here and there. So it should be more than the $1,200 that we received before. Some uh, economists are saying like 15, some are saying 20, uh, 2,000. So I'm thinking 1,500, 1,600. It's an educated guess. If you're looking for a hard number, you ain't gonna find it here because they don't exist right now. So all right. So Senate Majority Leader and Republican Mitch McConnell uh, is trying to make a new bill that will target the stimulus checks towards people that have uh, 40K or less a year incomes. So these are the people that were hit the hardest. So if you're making less than $40,000 a year, they want to send you a stimulus check because that would be able to help you the most. The main focus of the Republicans is to reopening the economy. So instead of giving a second sti uh, stimulus payment out, they want to be able to uh, give bonuses and incentives for people that are finding jobs and be able to uh, kind of reactivate the economy. So that makes sense to a sense. Rewarding people to get the economy started absolutely sounds great, but currently uh, places like New York City, corporations are still shut down. So a lot of Americans are not even able to get work within their field. So that's something we got to kind of weigh there is, yeah, the thought is good, but is the American public currently ready for that right now? I know that everybody wants to get the economy started again, but currently there are spikes within the pandemic right now. So that's kind of what, what the Republicans want to do. Uh, uh, the Democrats, they want to continue the stimulus check uh, for all the Americans. So 156 top 
economic, economic, economists have written a letter and stated that they think it would be a good idea to keep the stimulus checks going and tie it to the percentage of unemployment. So as the number of unemployment starts to gradually just decrease, the amount of money or the checks that are going out will also decrease tied into that state's specific unemployment rate. And that is to get ahead of an economic fallout. But what do you economists know about restarting an economy during an economic fallout? What? Oh, that's their job? Oh, so, so a lot. So as I stated before, the CARES Act unemployment benefit boost of $600 a week is going to expire July 31st. And the Democrats want to extend that to 600 and the Republicans are either trying to scale it back to 250 to 300 or scale it back completely to nothing. The CARES Act signed and approved by Donald Trump back in March was $2.2 trillion stimulus relief package that helped over 150 million Americans at the time. The new bill the Republicans want to push out, they want to scale back the economics behind it a little bit and bring it down to 1 trillion. And the Democrats actually want to do the opposite and bring it to 3 million. That's a good question right there. Uh, is when you insert more money, of course that money is coming from somewhere, uh, whether it be Social Security, Medicaid, but that money is coming from somewhere. So do you, do you think it's a good idea right now for there to be more funding during this time of crisis? Or do you think that um, trying to get the economy started and using less funding would be the appropriate method. I mean, that's a very teetering scale right there. So it's kind of something to think about, but they don't have a lot of time to think because as I said earlier, if a decision is not made by late July, early August, they will be shelving this topic for September 8th. So what's that mean for the current boost in benefits for the struggling American people and the economic crisis that we're currently put in right now? I really want to know what you guys think. I want to know if you guys think that um, we should continue to move forward the same way that we have with the CARES Act, if we should structure it the way Mitch McConnell has said and uh, kind of start supporting people under 40K. Uh, rather than the whole American public? Or do you think that we should be going in the direction that the top economists say and uh, tie our stimulus checks towards the unemployment rate of each state? There's also a HEROES Act that's been proposed by the Democrats. I have not covered that yet, but I can if you guys want me to. So make sure you put that in the comments below. And I really want to know what you guys think, so make sure you hit those comments below and make sure you guys are being smart and being safe during this time. And that's all we're going to talk about today. Today, this is the commotion. I'm Roshan Joshi on Reality Rants. If you like our content, make sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're always up to date. And remember, everybody, stay blessed.